Hey plant friends, welcome back to Bloom and Grow YouTube show. I'm here at Mickey Hargitay Plants with Mickey Hargitay. Mickey, would you mind showing me around a little bit? Let's go take a look. All right. Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Okay, I'm already blown away by the amazing selection of plants. Who is this little gnome guy? This is Norman, spelled with a G, G N O R. -A -N. <laughs> Norman the gnome. Oh my gosh, how long have you had him for? He's about a year resident here. I love that. We had a name the gnome contest, and I can't remember the person who came up with Norman, but that was the winner. You unload a lot of the plants from the trucks to keep, kind of keep them healthy. What plants get to come in and live in here? The ones that need a little, the ones that are a little more tender, that need a little bit, it's heated in here and you okay. know, a little bit temperature controlled, so the ones that are a little more tender and need a little more GLC end up in here. The ones that can't take wind and the elements as well, most of these are all indoor plants. These are all house plants. Oh wow, what's this one? That's Rufa Barba. Feel the undersides of the leaves. Feel it's like velvet. Whoa, and this one's kind of fuzzy too. I feel like the purple undersides of Calathea like always wow me, no matter how many times I see how many times I see them, you know what I mean? And you see it when they move at night. Yeah. When they close up, you can it really shows them. Yeah, yeah it's unbelievable. Really <gasps> Mimosa Pudica! Mm -hmm. Oh my go. gosh! Can I touch it? Touch it. <laughs> this is the sensitive plant. I have this. So when you touch them, they're supposed to. It might be too cold. They're a little more sensitive. Uh, oh, they're starting to fold up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, when it's warmer, they react a little quicker. <gasps> yeah, you can totally see them folding up. So they react to when you touch them their leaves fold up. Yeah, look, you can totally see it. I have seeds for this to grow, but I didn't get around to growing it yet. I'm so excited. Oh, what a, this is a really fun plant for kids too, right? Mm -hmm. Even though you're not supposed, to, I know that it stresses them out and you're not supposed to touch them, but. Uh-oh, fiddly forest. <laughs> look at how many fiddles you have back here. Oh wow, is this a different kind of fiddle leaf? Yeah, that's a little smaller leaf variety. Look how cute this guy is! Just with a small. Wow, this is like a full forest of fiddle leaf trees. We've and got a variegated one in front too. Oh my, okay, we got to move cool. it. Oh, is this now? Oh, is this Ficus Audrey? That's Ficus Audrey. This is the, the new, the new cool fiddle leaf. And they're thing. so hard to get in, in SoCal. In New York, mm -hmm. you'll see them because they come from Florida, but okay. here they're really strict on bringing stuff in and a lot of, you know, people can't bring them in. Interesting. Yeah, so we just got these in. That's, yeah. I feel like you're, I'm seeing these pop up on Instagram a lot mm -hmm. more. They're like kind of the fiddle leaf's competitor. Oh my god, that's so tall. Wow. And you said these fly off the racks, right? So these will all, people will all pick these up? Yeah, this will be pretty much emptied out usually by Monday. These are kind of all gone. You can see there's a little space already open up here. This price is unbelievable. $150 for this whole tree? Yeah. This would be like $300 in New York City. Really? Oh my god, yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> Okay, should we go to the front? Okay. This one's called Bleeding Heart. And it's got those really pretty red stems. Oh my gosh. I've never seen this before. It's a really good plant too. They're cold hardy, so in, in Southern California we can use them as, you know, outdoor kind of like bedding plants if you will. Know, okay. Add a little splash of color. Could you bring it indoors too? They do great indoors, yeah, nice. Because um, this foliage with the pink mm -hmm. is unbelievable. Yeah, the colors are amazing. You saw it here first at Mickey's. I've never seen that. Alocasia. Alocasias. This one's called Dark Star. These are Caladora. 
these to me, I feel like, are the most like prehistoric looking plants. Like you can, I don't know, for me, for some reason, they feel like dinosaurs, you They're know? They're pretty cool. Yeah, They're with really the spines. Cool. <laughs> and the frog. <laughs> oh my god, this place is so awesome. So you started out doing macrame in the 70s, right? Yeah. That's how you kind of got into this. And now look, you have a whole macrame room. Are any of these ones that you've made? No, no. no. I started making some again. You did? Before it kind of, when I saw the trend kind of coming, but mm -hmm. it was like they sold so quick and it yeah. would just not be, it wouldn't make sense to do Oh it. my gosh, so cool. <laughs> a one-stop shop here you can get your pots your soil your plants we try to yeah, yeah. I love that oh my gosh there's a whole other room of pots mm -hmm. oh you have like a tree yeah so here's the variegated fiddly fig. I thought it was gonna be like a small potted plant for sale. No, it's like a full <laughs> tree in the ground. You can see some of the variation yeah. from if the you bottom. Get on a ladder and look uh -huh. down, you can really see the colors in wow. it. It's beautiful. How tall was it when you got here? Like it has was it, a teeny was little. Was it tiny? Yeah, like and it's an grown this much? Pot and it's grown that much. Wow. Yeah. We've got to get up there and do some air layering and try to get some pieces of it. Yeah, you man. Can't find these, I know. But so cool. This is a variegated ponytail, which is really cool. Bocarnia. Look at the pink. This is like when you get pink low lights in your hair, or you get like a pink highlight. <laughs> this is what that looks like. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at this euphorbia, right? Euphorbia. Oh, no, euphorbia the red electric. tips. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. The variety is blowing my mind. These are cool. These are <gasps> crusted. Yeah. Extras. What are these called? I've seen these on Instagram too. These are Myrtillo cactus. This is just like dreamy, the way. Yeah, they're crested, they're mutations, so they're not growing the way they're supposed to grow. Mickey, thank you so much for having me. This has been a magical morning in this fiddly forest that we're standing in. Where can we find you when we come to LA? Thank you for coming in, Maria. We're, our address is 1255 North Sycamore Avenue in Hollywood, mm -hmm. LA 90038. You can find us online at mickeysplants.com okay. or Instagram at mickeysplants. Check them out, plant friends. This place is truly unbelievable. A must visit when you come to LA. Thank you so much for a great Thank morning. Thank you for having us. Hey, plant friends. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe below. Also, check out my podcast, Bloom and Grow Radio, with houseplant care tips and really interesting interviews with plant people all over the world. And follow me on Instagram. All of the links are in the show description below. Keep blooming and keep growing. Doom, do, 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 do,